beyond the last mountain, the very last mountain, beyond the last Zeneca, Zeneca tree, beyond the last woomph bush, the very last woomph bush, there is a vacuous, vacant prairie, the prairie of Prax and the tail of the Zax. One day, making tracks in the prairie of Prax, came a north-going Zax, a north-going Zax, and a south-going Zax. A north-going Zax, and a south-going Zax. And it happened that both of them came to a place where they bumped. There they stood, foot to foot, face to face. Look here now. The north-going Zack said, Hey, say, you are blocking my path. You are right in my way. I'm a north-going Zax, and I always go north. Get out of my way now and let me go forth. Who's in whose way? Snapped the south-going Zax. I always go south making south-going tracks. So you're in my way, and I ask you to move and let me go south in my south-going groove. Then the north-going Zack said with north-going pride, I never have taken a step to one side, and I'll prove to you that I won't change my ways if I have to keep standing here 59 days. And I'll prove to you, yelled the south-going Zacks, that I can stand here in the prairie of Prax for 59 years. For I live by a rule that I learned as a boy back in South Going School. Never budge, that's my rule. Never budge in the least, not an inch to the west, not an inch to the east. I'll stay here not budging, I can and I will, if it makes you and me and the whole world stand still. Well, of course, the world didn't stand still. The world grew. In a couple of years, the new highway came through, and they built it right over those two stubborn Zacks and left them there, standing unbudged in their tracks. <laughs> <laughs> 